Okay, I'm here with Izzy Wild at the T Awards, and I tell you what, there's so many good newcomers in the industry this year, but not many rank right up near the top like this girl does. Izzy, before before we get started, tell me a little bit about your your backstory and, and kind of what you were doing before you got in the industry, where you're from, that kind my, of stuff. My backstory, my all that. Your whole life story yeah, in 30 right. seconds. Yeah, all right. Um, long story short, um, I'm originally from Michigan. Uh -huh. I, I was working as a gas station manager actually oh, yeah. for like a few years. So night shift, graveyard shift, uh, or? All, all the shifts. I was on call basically. Right. I was very organized, very good at what I did. But working 50 hours a week and on call is like. Yeah. I eventually I snapped. I was like, hey, <laughs> I'm a really sexual person. Why not take a chance at porn? And uh, I don't know. The intuition kicked in, and uh, I've been doing it ever since. What, what was it like when you first got in? Were there a lot of nerves on your part, or was it a natural fit right it's from the get-go? It's a natural fit for me, honestly. A lot of it was a very organic process. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of fell into it almost, you know? And then was I was like, Ruby Girl of July 2020, uh, I was like, okay, this is like an all or nothing thing. Are you going to, are you going to move? So I move out of Michigan, I go to Vegas. Right, right, right. Um, and, and things just kind of snowball from there. I think like a funny and interesting thing that happened like yeah. right before I got to Vegas is like my apartment got denied, my car broke down a week uh, before. In Vegas, like the apartment no, you were in? No, before Vegas, like oh. when I was in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was able to screw it all together somehow, you know? Right, right, right. <laughs> what, do, you, do you remember much, of, I'm sure you could ask this a lot, but your first scene, I mean, the, the, the butterflies that may have been there when you when you first got uh, yeah, there? Yeah, well, my first scene, I was, uh, I was flown out and I, was, I had never been out of like the state like that to Vegas. Right. And, uh, it was such a like eye-opening experience. I did three scenes in a weekend and uh, just was like, yeah, you know, that was fun. Whatever comes from it. I, yeah. uh, and then it just kicked off and I was like, oh, okay. Now, as you move along and, and do more and more scenes, are you someone that critiques yourself and watches yourself? Uh, oh, yeah. and, and I don't think I watch my like, every scene, especially nowadays. I've kind of figured out what I want to do for myself mm -hmm. over the course of my career. And, you know, we're still very much enveloped in not even yeah. the middle of it yet. So we're, we're just working it um, very slowly. You know, first, like, I get my braces done. I got my titties done. Yeah. I work my hair every so often. I find my style. You get better. You do better at your makeup. You just progress. And this is how, this is how it goes. As long as you're out there, like trying your best and making things work and identifying it for yourself. Yeah. Well, what do you What do you think your strengths are as a performer? You've, you've you really risen in popularity. Why do you think people like you so much? I mean, a lot of people like to say that I have personality. Yeah. I, I bring a lot to the table. I don't know. I I would watch porn a long time ago, and it would be like, oh, this is this is really this feels kind of fake. How do I make that real? And right. so I just bring my own shit. And uh, right, right, right. for the most part, I think I do pretty well with that. You know, I know you started off doing a lot of work for Groovy and then you, you ventured into some other companies. When did you really feel like you kind of started to take off a little bit? Was there a scene that propelled you a little bit or a, a certain moment? Or... I'm, a pretty, uh, I'm a pretty gradual like carrier. Like now we're starting to get like up there. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately there wasn't any one scene that made me go, Whoop. it was just kind of like consistency. Like I'm good and yeah. consistent, you know? I'm a good, I'm a good all around, I guess. Right, and you know, we talked the other night and you told me that you were good friends with Jenna Gargles. Yes. And I know the two of you and Dylan Diaz had a really good scene that was nominated <laughs> for a handful of awards by, by various companies. What do you like working about, what do you like about working with Jenna? Jenna's really fun. We were actually, have very good energy together. Mm -hmm. um, very spunky people, so yeah. I enjoyed that much. Also, the scene itself was really fun. She didn't really, she didn't really know how to play chess. She didn't know how to what? She didn't know how to play chess all that oh. much. And, and not, not a, you know, it was it was fun for me because I did. So I just I just kind of like like initially in the script she was supposed to win. Right, right. <laughs> right. You know, when I had races when I was little, Izzy, I was so, I hated them. I was like, I, I didn't want to go out and, and rock it like you did. But uh, you, the braces work well for you and you really own it. I mean, tell, tell me, do your fans, do they like it? I mean, is that something that's yeah. kind of become your identity a little bit earlier? I, I mean, at the moment, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm very open when it comes when they come out, like next yeah. year. Um, because I, I think that's kind of like a bump, not a, like a good, it's a period in my career right now that yeah. like when it's gone, like you can look back at it fondly and be like, that was fun. But then this is also, this new stuff's going to look good too. Uh, I mean, I needed it for myself, like yeah. in high school, like I got teased a lot for having that big gap in between my teeth. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of stuck with me. And I wanted to, I wanted to do something. So the minute that I was able to have the resources to do that, yeah. I, I took hold of it. I mean, I could have gone Invisalign, but I said, oh, this will be a lot more fun. Let's make something out of it. And so we did. We also, the people that work oh. here, security. Uh oh. We're do you see me? Don't ask me for my ID again. Thank you. Sounds like Aubrey. <laughs> hey, uh, 
One more, one or two more quick ones here. You know, we mentioned you're a newcomer, and there, I, I've noticed that there are so many new faces in the industry. You know, you've got your icons, your Aubrey Cates, your Casey Kisses, but now we've got the Izzy Wilds and the Jane Venus and the Ariel Demure. Well, why do you think so many more people are, are flocking, trans, trans women flocking to the adult industry right now? Well, the, the last few that you, like Ariel Demure and uh, Jane Venus and I, we kind of like flocked in during the start of the pandemic. I mean, maybe not the start, but like right when we were like being able to work again during the pandemic. And, and I think that kicked uh, a lot of people at the gear. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like it was kind of a natural ebb and flow yeah. for like a new cycle of girls to come in yeah. and, and, and good girls too. Yeah. Um, so I would say that like, that was kind of a big kickstarter for a lot of people. A lot of people were like, life is like changing all around us. So we need to change with it or get out. Yeah. And so we changed with it. And, Ourselves. And final uh, cliche question of the night. What, what are your goals for the? Do, do you have any, any uh, things you want to check off your bucket list uh, here in 2022? Or I don't have a list, yeah. but I'm constantly trying to progress myself. It's like a whole self evolution thing. So oh, yeah. that's kind of a thing. I, I'm also like good at gauging when too far, is too far. So like I, I keep a good balance about that, mm -hmm. and I do it gradually. So I mean, a lot of it is just evolving slowly but surely yeah. in a way that's like rewarding and just. Uh, you have rewarding, like in Excellent. a way that like works. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> well, you seem so happy, and it's it, and you should be. You've had a great year, and I know everyone's really looking forward to a big oh my God, uh, 2022 like, from you. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, like last year, like yeah. I didn't even have titties, and now we got titties, so, and now all the things are starting right. to come out. It's all happening so fast. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Izzy. Have fun tonight. No, you